to make sense of the situation, public affairs analyst Achike Chude joins me now on the news. Uh, thank you very much, Achike, for joining us. Uh, despite the federal government saying the planned protest by the unions is illegal, uh, they have gone ahead with it. Would you say this is a slap on the federal government's face? And what do the unions hope to achieve with the protest? Sorry, again, come again. Now, Chike, I, I was asking earlier, what do you make of the protest? And recall that the federal government had warned uh, the unions that, um, warned NLC rather, that joining the ASU in this strike will be considered as illegal. Do you agree with this? Well, the, the uh, protest itself, of course, this is a protest, not a strike. The protest itself has been largely successful. The turnout has been great, and we hope that... Um, the authorities will take notice of the resolve of the people to, uh, w you know, to want a speedy resolution to the ASO crisis, to the shutdown of the nation's universities. Now, obviously, the government is not happy. That is understandable. But the government stands indicted by uh, the whole of uh, this crisis that is going on. The government is the one that uh, failed uh, to fulfill the terms of the negotiation agreed upon in 20 2009. You know, and so that would have been avoided if the government had done its own part. And for the government to uh, describe uh, the action as illegal, that's an opinion of uh, the Minister of uh, Information that is illegal. It's, not, uh, it's only a cause that can declare you know, that illegal. So we hope that with what has happened today, that the government would also realize that this matter is no longer exclusively in the hands of ASO, that it has gone beyond ASO, and that failure to quickly do something about this on the strength of this action that has just taken place will lead to a more severe and crippling uh, action by, by organized labor. And that is a general strike that will shut down the nation. So we hope that the government will quickly respond and do what it needs to do to ensure that our universities are open. Now, uh, based on the, the last statement you made now, that you hope that the federal government would listen um, to these unions and uh, bring an end to this. Now, the, the union, uh, on the other hand, has said the protests will continue for another day and will be followed by a three-day warning strike if the government doesn't resolve the issue with ASU. Now, bearing in mind that the, the, the impact of, of all of this will have on the economy, especially on, um, on, on these students. Uh, do you think the unions should adopt a different approach? Sorry, do I think that what? I said, what do you think the impact would be on the economy, but especially on the students? The impact will be devastating now when you shut down. The economy cannot uh, afford any heavy disruption. So we hope that the government if the government is responsible enough, the government will want to avoid that situation. But of course, you know, this is a government uh, that uh, uh, doesn't seem to understand the economy. This is a government that has ruined the economy. Uh, this is a government that has borrowed heavily. The government made about 12 trillion naira when it came to power. And as of today, the government has borrowed about uh, 30 trillion naira in the space of seven years. That is unprecedented. You know, and of course, the government has not been able to do anything meaningful within the economy. The government has not improved on power infrastructure. The government has not been able to do anything about the spiraling exchange rate that has gone out of hand. It's now about 650, you know, naira to the dollar. So the government has not been able to do anything about the economy. And 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 if if we we find ourselves, I mean, the fact that we have found ourselves in this kind of dire economic strait should be a warning to the government that Nigeria can no longer afford any other devastating effect on the economy. You know, so they have not shown that they are effective managers of the economy. And they have not shown that they are actually interested in the welfare of the Nigerian people. You know, so it wouldn't surprise me if they don't do anything about uh, their, this protest and then try to avoid a warning strike before perhaps a more permanent strike. Well, indeed, Ashike Chude, public affairs analyst, would definitely uh, cross her fingers and uh, see what happens. But many thanks for your contribution and many thanks for coming.